Hey there, Super Coder! Today we're going to generate a maze for our maze game. First, we need a sprite that will hold our maze logic. For that, I'll add an empty sprite. Just a small dot. Perfect. Now we need two sprites for our maze visuals. One for the wall. I'll pick this cactus. <laughs> and one for the path. I'll use this cute little flower. Alright. Let's start coding inside the empty sprite. The idea is, our stage will be divided into 9 columns and 7 rows. At first, every cell will be filled with walls. Cactus. And then we'll replace some random cells with paths. Flowers. But to do this, we need exact positions. So let's first create two variables. Maze width is set it to 9. Maze height is set it to 7. Great! Next, we need a list to store the maze structure. Let's create a list called maze underscore layout. This list will store numbers. We can add the number by ourselves, but wait, here's the important part. We want a new maze every time. So first, let's fill the entire list with ones. To keep track, we'll also make a variable counter and set it to one. Now drag in the block add one to maze layout. Click it. See, the first element is now one. Click again, the second becomes one. But doing this by hand for 63 cells? Nope. Let's automate. Since our maze is 9 by 7, that's 63 cells total. So let's add a repeat maze width times maze height block. And inside it, add 1 to maze layout. Don't forget, always start with a clean list. So at the very beginning, just after the green flag is clicked, add delete all of maze layout. That way, we don't keep adding more than 63. Now let's test. Click the green flag. Look, every time the list is freshly filled with 63 walls. Nice! Next step. We don't want all walls. We want some pads, too. For that, we'll use the block replace item of maze underscore layout. Try it once. See? One item gets replaced with zero. That's our path. But we don't want just one path. We need lots. Let's say around 25 paths. So put the replace block inside a repeat 25. Click it now. Hmm. Wait. Only the first item changes. That's because we didn't tell Scratch which item to replace each time. So let's fix that. Create a variable position. Set it to pick random 1 to 63, because we have 63 cells in our list. Now inside the replace block, instead of replacing item 1, replace item position. Perfect! Now each loop picks a new random position and changes it to a path. And if we want extra randomness, we can even replace the repeat count with pick random 15 to 25. That way, each maze has a slightly different number of paths. Awesome! But right now, our maze is just a list. We need to place it into actual rows and columns on the stage. For that, let's make two more variables. Count 1 for rows, count 2 for columns. Set both to zero at the start. Let's plan. Row one will be like positions 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 8. Row two will be 1, 0, 1, 1, and so on. So we need two loops. Outer loop will repeat until count one equals seven. Inner loop will repeat until count two equals nine. Inside the inner loop, we'll fetch one element of the list. Use the block set cell type to item counter of maze layout. Since counter starts at 1, the first loop checks the first cell. Now add a condition. If cell type equals 1, then create a clone of cactus. If cell type equals zero, then create a clone of flower. Don't forget to hide the originals first, so only clones show. Next, we need to tell the cactus and flower sprites where to appear when cloned. Go to the cactus code, add when I start as a clone. Create variables cactus X and cactus Y. Set 
set cactus X to negative 250 plus count 2 times 50. Set cactus Y to 150 minus count 1 times 50. This way, every clone sits in the right grid cell. Add go to cactus underscore x cactus underscore y. Set size to 20%, then show. Duplicate the same for the flower sprite. Finally, let's return to the main code. Inside the inner loop, after placing a cell, change count 2 by 1 to move to the next column. Change counter by 1 to move to the next list item. When the row is done, reset count 2 to 0 and change count 1 by 1 to move to the next row. Now let's run it. Ta-da! We've got a random maze every time, made of cactus walls and flower paths. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, Super Coders. Stay tuned for the next video. And until then, happy, happy coding.